Introducing a new way to prevent damage to your doors and walls, the invisible doorstop. To protect your walls from costly doorknob damage, you need a doorstop. Until now, that meant drilling a hole in your baseboard, drilling a hole into your floor, or drilling a hole into the same wall you're trying to protect. The invisible doorstop easily installs in minutes, behind the top and bottom hinges of any standard hinge door. All you need is a screwdriver. Choose from polymer for interior hollow core doors, or carbon fiber for entry and commercial doors. With the invisible doorstop, your doors stop exactly where you want them to, without unnecessarily damaging your floors, your doors, or your walls. Walls. The invisible doorstop makes your home easier to clean, safer for children and pets, and it eliminates the damage caused from a traditional doorstop. The invisible doorstop is the best choice for every door in your home. Simple, effective, and proudly made in the USA. Hi, I'm Eric G for IDS. I'm here to show you how easy it is to install their invisible doorstops. The invisible doorstop is available in three sizes, three and a half inch, for hollow core interior doors, four inch for entry doors, which is the most common in homes, and four and a half inch for commercial doors or very large entry doors. Remember to measure your hinges so you get the right invisible door stop for the job. Now that we have the correct size, let's get to work. First, we start with the top hinge. If you're working with a three and a half inch hinge, loosen all three screws. Place the belled end of the IDS strap behind the hinge and pull down to lock it in place. If you're installing door stops on an entry or commercial door using a four or four and a half inch stop, please loosen the screws corresponding to the notches on the door stop as shown. Next, remove the center screws. If your four inch invisible door stop doesn't seem to fit properly, you probably just have to flip it upside down. Next, we retighten the screws. The strap should bend as you tighten the screws. This means the screws are tight and that your hinge is positioned where it needs to be for the door to function properly. Now we're gonna do the door side of the hinge. Remove the center screw or screws to allow the strap to go through and loosen the top and bottom screws. Place the fingered ends of the invisible door stop behind the hinge. Keep the strap tight and position the door about 10 degrees shy of the preferred stopping point. Replace and retighten the screws. Repeat these steps for the bottom hinge and you're all set. When you're installing the strap on the lower hinge, you wanna match the tension of the strap on the top hinge. Once you're satisfied with where the door is stopping, simply push in on the strap as you're closing the door. Leave the door closed at least 15 minutes to set the crease and then trim away any excess strap from the back of the hinge. And that's how easy it is to install the invisible door stop. Simple, effective, and proudly made in the USA.